the knee drop, okay, consists of obviously passing guard, okay? Whether you're here and you brought this down, here you're walking, okay? Sometimes they get their knee across, okay? I need to be able to get this boss grip here in order because he's gonna begin to pressure me with this knee here. And I need to be able to pressure him with that knee so I can scoop underneath here. And be able to switch hands here and go around for a nice pressure pass right here, okay? So this is called a low pass. Low meaning I went under his leg. A high pass meaning I went over, okay? If we start from closed guard, okay, my objective is to open his guard, I control that hip right here, and I turn here as I put my back and bring my knee up here, but he slides his knee in front, okay? I'd love to be able to take it and move it out of the way, but there's no way I'm moving his knee out of the way, <laughs> and he's probably gonna be pressuring me here as, yeah, like a knee shield, so I need to drop my hip in, see how his heel comes out, I come up, and then I bring it up, over, get it on my shoulder. I can go to his shoulder, I can go get a boss group here, Okay, and now this guy have it on my shoulder. Okay, from here, I can still pass this way and I can pass to the left. Okay, either way. But what I'm gonna do is like a rope. This hand I'm pulling in and I'm feeding this deeper. And I'm gonna pull myself this way as I walk around, trying to get his knee to his head. And most of the time, they will move their leg across. I reset my box grip here, okay? I begin to crank his neck here. He'll block with his right hand, but oftentimes it's not enough here. He'll block with the top hand. With the top hand, what they'll do is they'll reach over to pull that elbow, okay? My left knee comes to my right knee as I begin to step over here, switch, drop, and now control the arm. But I want you guys to hook the head, okay? And unfold the arm thumb up, okay? And I need to be able to control his head because if I'm right here, okay, he'll push the leg off the head, okay? I don't want him to push the leg forward or that I definitely don't want because then I lose it, but then you can do this right here and then you get even a tighter arm bar, but that takes a lot more practice. So when you go for that arm lock, okay, you need to hook the head and use your hips. Oftentimes you pinch your knees, see how the arm comes up, Pull it, okay? But most important of all, he breaks the opposite way of the thumb. So if you wanna do a handshake group for reference, right here, it's up. It's up as a tap. Okay guys, so one more time. We do a low pass. Because it's very common that you get here and they bring their knee in and they're keeping you away. So I get this so I can pressure. As, as I'm pulling my right elbow to my hip, my hip drives in, see how it raises his and I'm just gonna scoop here. And I wanna get his leg on my shoulder right about there as I'm pulling through here. I switch boss grips to the other side and like a rope, I'm pulling. My objective, in all honesty, is to get his knee to his forehead, okay? By lifting him up, up, up. Grab this right here, his pants right here. And you can even roll them up, 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 up and bent the neck, but oftentimes they'll bring the leg by, okay? Jerry likes to do that pass. <laughs> to punish you to where you're, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's horrible. Mean. Yes, so here, as I begin to crank him down here, my left knee comes to my right. As I step over here, switch over, switch the hand, make him turn, okay? As I scoop his head, Control the arm, and there's the hip, and up, okay? So just get to side control. You don't even have to go this far, but just do that low pass. And we need to see it again? No? Let's see, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. you open? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
you actually write. It should be on the Okay. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 